It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, you beautiful people. It is your Feel Good Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Today, it's all about male hair this uh, midday, appreciating our facial hair, appreciating all of our hair on our head if we do grow any. And of course, the maintenance that comes with it, because sometimes there can be lots of maintenance that needs to be done. Sometimes we do it right, sometimes we get it wrong. But what styling tips are there for men who are balding? Jean Vasaki or Vasaki from Barnett Fair joins us to continue this chat. Okay, so you were having a good chat with Kat. You even gave him a really nice uh, sort of a refresh on his haircut uh, but what tips are there uh, when it comes to our facial hair for guys like me who maybe don't grow as much facial hair uh, let's start there 100 percent, dude so like i went back to if it's difficult for you to grow a beard right oh. it's gonna be uh -huh. it's with everything like that so, right, um, so this is it no 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 don't don't take it that way so obviously <laughs> the skin plays the biggest role uh -huh. In everything. Yeah. Because the more you nourish the skin, the more massage in the skin and add stuff to it, yeah. you can fast forward the process. Which um, is great. Yes, sir. And yeah. then obviously it depends also how you shave, mm. how regularly you shave, yes. and the direction you shave. Yeah. Because well, then the direction you shave plays a very important role, especially when it comes to then what you, how your skin reacts. If you look at my skin very closely, especially around the parts where I do shave, yes, yes. which is around here, is I often have these tiny little ingrowns or these bumps. I don't know if they're ingrowns or if they're just bumps from the razor or from yeah. uh, the actual trimmers. What causes that? How can I avoid that? How can so, guys out there avoid that? Uh, I don't know. So if you know that if you shave, yeah. that it takes a level of your skin, mm. like a soft, soft layer on oh. top of your skin. So that causes sensitivity and that will cause razor bumps. Mm, mm. And then obviously if you shave the wrong direction, you can cause ingrowns. So your, your sort of maintenance tips then for someone like me who grows this much facial hair is to really just nourish it, clean it, nourish yeah. it, and keep it clean and airy. Basically. Make sure the skin under is very, very, very not well nourished mm. because that plays the biggest role. And obviously the way you eat, everything falls behind that. Then. Yeah, yeah. But then you get guys who are on the complete opposite end of the scale. For example, like one of our camera guys here, yeah. his name is Rudy. I mean, he, what I refer to Rudy as hashtag beard envy, okay? <gasps> Where is Rudy? There's Rudy. Rudy is total beard envy. And you can see, I mean, right now he's just showing off. You can see he's enjoying this moment. It's the, the moment is his beard, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, how does a guy like that uh, maintain and manage? They, they beard. That plays also into hygiene beard, oiling your beard, because the thing is, as you know, the beard can get very coarse ah. and it doesn't get enough environmental effect on it, mm. meaning vitamins from the sun, okay. air, yeah. everything plays a role as well. So okay. for him, you would want to line it up a lot. As I said, clean mm. up the hairline, clean up and shape the beard, okay. well nourish it, and ah. then dietary. How do guys nourish their beards then? What do you use for that sort of thing? So there's oils, there's soaps, there's uh -huh a whole range of things you can use. Mm. It's like so big already, uh -huh. like beards has become part of, a, you know, mm. a man's lifestyle. <laughs> Let's talk about guys who are losing hair, balding guys. How do they manage that? How do you make sure that you sort of maintain a good sort of hair health uh, when you are going through that, uh, that period of your life? I mean, so, it happens at, at, at yeah. varying ages as well. It can happen while you're young or while you're old. Yeah, so basically, obviously, genes again, mm. comes back to genes. Mm. But then most importantly, dietary, fitness, mm. it goes all back to your body. Your mm. body gives you what you want, mm. right? So the air grows from that. Mm -hmm. And if you thinning air, or your hair thins, yeah. um, or you're going bald, or yeah. you have ingrowns from the top out back, yeah. um, your hairline is obviously receding. Mm -hmm. then you can do an effect of cutting it shorter okay. on the sides, All right. short back and sides, uh -huh. to create like fuller volume effect mm -hmm. at the top. Okay, cool. So I am obviously not balding. I mean, this is just a thing that I decided to do for myself <laughs> just for a week or so. Um, let's try and do something interesting with this. So imagine that I was maybe losing hair or my hair was thinning. How would you style it? Maybe let's do the demo right 100%. now. Uh, will you show everyone at home how you would manage this, so how you treat uh, this look and, uh, you know, refresh it and keep it nice and, and, and neat? Thank you, my man. Hmm. So what we're going to do for you is I'm going to clean up just around the hairline as well. Okay. And I'm going to buff over the whole head. Okay. Um, just to, for whatever flares up and pops up, it's not supposed to be there. Mm. It's going to be removed. Mm, mm. And then on your face, we'll just give you a nice smooth cleanup as well. Oh, nice. Great, I need that. And you know, I find that every time, because uh, I usually go for a haircut once a week, okay. and that comes with a, a shave uh, on my face as well. I find when I haven't gone, uh, and it's been over a week, it starts to itch. 
Yes, so that obviously is caused by that layer of skin that's been oh, removed. Okay. So the sensitivity of growing back mm -hmm. is causing that itch. And now we know. On you. Yeah, 100%. Now we know. Mm. Slick, my man. So what we're going to do with this is mm -hmm. we're just going to buzz over it. Usually use a brush. Okay. Flat brush to just go over it. And have to brush it, obviously, according to how the hair grows. Okay. And, and, and what's the technique there for someone who's um, maybe doing it themselves at home? How do they do they need to go against the grain of the hair? If you're cutting bulk, yes. Okay. Against the grain. Okay. But if you're going for the style, like, I don't know if you know, if you've seen people do waves. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. I want waves. So How can I get waves, Ron? There's, there's products for that, dude. Okay. Like, okay, so, okay it's not yeah. genetic. Okay. There's a very big thing with waves. Like, uh -huh. there's a process. It's not just having waves. Ah, you know? okay, cool. Well, the um, emphasis is on making uh, your look work for you and every single one of us really can do that. There's so many tips, there's so many tricks out there. Joanne has given us a few of those, but of course, stay with us. I'll be, uh, we'll be giving us some final tips on how to groom thick and lush hair for those guys with thick and enviable lush hair. Uh, well, uh, of course, Joanne continues with my little trimming going on here. We'll see you after this.